So in today's class of mathematics, let us write a Pythagorean triplet whose one member is 16. The question is taken from class 8 mathematics. So let us see how to write a Pythagorean triplet whose one member is 16. Okay, so first you all write down the question. Write a Pythagorean triplet whose one member is 16. This is the solution over here. For any natural number, write down. For any natural number, m greater than 1 comma okay m greater than 1 means m is positive over here okay now 2m comma m square minus 1 comma m square plus 1 now these are very important three important pythagoras triplet forms a pythagorean triplet so these three are going to form a pythagorean triplet and they are very important okay so take down this so first part will be what 2m so write down here 2m write down let 2m is equal to 16 so what you are going to get is m is equal to 16 upon 2 2 ones are 2 eights are so what is m m is equal to 8 right so what we got the value of m to be 8 so the value of m is 8 Next, write down the second part. What is the second part from here? m square minus 1. So, write down m square minus 1. Here, m square minus 1, right? m square minus 1 it is, right? So, what is your m? 8. Write down 8 square minus 1. So, what is 8 square? 64 minus 1, you will get 63, right? And here it will be what? m square plus 1. How you got this? These are the m square plus 1 from here. Then write down what is your m? 64 whole square plus 1. 64, sorry, 8 square it is. Your value of m is what? 8. 8 square plus 1. So 8 is square is 64 plus 1. We will get 65. Therefore, what you'll have to do is, therefore, the Pythagorean triplets are, now you'll have to write down the Pythagorean triplets. Now, what are the Pythagorean triplets? One will be 16, the other one will be what? The other one will be 63 and 65. So, write down over here, 63 and 65. Now, these are the, now this 16, 63 and 65 are your Pythagorean triplets. Okay. So I hope you have understood how to find how to solve how to write a Pythagorean triplet whose one member is 16. So I hope you have understood. Thanks for watching.